Hello everybody, Topo here, and welcome back to another Showdown Live. Um, I've been sick for a while, so I didn't have the chance to, uh, like, record or upload anything new. But I'm finally back here, I'm gonna, uh, record a lot of Showdown videos, preferably. And, especially on the two OMs of the month, because both of them are pretty good. We have Convergence, which this video is about, and then we have Got the Gift. Um, both are pretty interesting ones. Convergence is, by definition, very interesting in that a Pokemon shares its ability and moves pool with um, any Pokemon it shares a type with. So, for, for instance, Zapdos shares with um, Flamigo and Halucha. Uh, getting abilities and moves from them and I built a pretty interesting team it, it kind of looks weird but I think it's gonna be pretty cool um, with the big thing in mind having Zapdos with Scrappy Thunderous Kick Thunderous Kick is very nice because it lowers defense and with Scrappy nothing really comes in on that so the whole idea is um, I can end game spam Thunderous Kick uh, I have Passat in case things get uh, bad. Throw back, and I believe Stomping Tantrum is also something this learns. Uh, for this one, I only bored Scrappy from from Lego. Um, but yeah, there were a, there were honestly not too many. I was thinking Liquidation because from Lego gets Liquidation, which is also kind of interesting. In fact, you know what? We don't have a Water type. So I can run liquid liquidation. We have liquidation on this, which is also very interesting. It's a choice scarf set. It's just on a click button on slide game. Um, liquidation could be nice against like a fire type, like uh, for instance a Moltres. It could do pretty well against. Then I have Hitsuian Typhlosion, who actually borrows a lot. It gets Infiltrator and Energy Ball from Chandelure. And then it gets Torch Song and Earth Power from Skeledurge. Um, Infernal Parade is just very nice because it's better Hex. Um, but the whole idea is this is so solid that like it, it's decently fast. It has insane coverage here. And with heavy duty boots, it's it's hard to deal with. I can just kind of hit things. And then Infiltrator is very nice against sub or screens. Meow Scarada, I did actually want to change this. Um, Meow Scarada has two Pokemon to borrow from in Cacturn, and now it also has Shift Three. Um, so what I did was I went with Shift Three with the Wind Rider and the Tailwind, uh, still using Flower Tech because it's an insane move. And then knock off spikes. Uh, the whole idea is late game I can set up a tailwind or early game I can set up spikes. Um, with Wind Rider giving me a plus one always crit flower tick. Which that on its own sounds kind of insane. Uh, and then also we have the tailwind up for like for instance Typhlosion. Typhlosion under tailwind is really powerful. And I don't really think there's much you can do against that. Then, Fazendipity, I actually gave the ability of um, Galarian Coughing, Galarian Wheezing, sorry, um, because neutralizing gas in, an in a thing that's all about sharing moves and abilities, like getting rid of abilities sounds very, very solid. Um, this is already a good special wall. Toxic Chain is nice, but I can also just give it Toxic. And then I have um, Roost Sludge Bomb, which it naturally had, and Strange Sleep, which has a 20% chance of confusing. And it's also 90 base power, so it is just better Dazzle Gleam, which slightly worse Moonblast, I guess. But um, yeah, Strange Team is kind of interesting to use here. Uh, it, it, uh, it's another thing, like, there's only two Pokemon with Poison Fairy, so. It's fun that he had, that Fasundi PD has something to share with. Glass Three Year is actually very interesting as a late game cleanup. In um, it's a pure ice type, but because pure types are like the best thing to borrow from, 
because a lot of like early Pokemon have pure ice types. Uh, for instance, this has Belly Drum and Ice Shard from uh, the Titan. Uh, uh, same with Thick Fat. And then it has Recover from Cryogonal and Liquidation. A lot of them actually get Liquidation. The one I specifically found was Bear Tech. So I took uh, Liquidation from Bear Tech. And then between Heavy Duty Boots, Recover, and this being naturally very, very bulky, I can get that Belly Drum off and then Ice Shard. I'm actually gonna change this to a Citrus Berry so to ensure I get the Belly Drum off. And then last, this is a nice Pedef Wall. I have Hip Pylon as a Fist Death Wall. Um, because from Donphan, this gets Rapid Spin. It has Earthquake, Slack Off, and Encore actually. I have to remember what, what got Encore. One of the pure ground types got Encore. And I decided to put on this. Also, it gets um, Silicograss and Sandaconda's Shatskin. Which is very nice on a bulky Pokemon like this. Uh, this is my anti hazard things. Uh, Anchor is very nice. I might swap this for Stealth Fox later. Because my team does benefit of Stealth Fox. And that's why I also have Spikes. But yeah. I'm going to have to see how that works out. Anchor is nice in case something wants to set up on me. So yeah. It's a very like offensive team. And I, I, I'm pretty happy to use stuff like Typhlosion. In Glass Tree Air. So we're gonna have to see how this goes. Alright, and we get a first game. And my Glass Tree Air looks insane here, like game. Like, actually, straight up insane. Don't have U turn on my Zapdos. So, what I'm gonna do. Is I'm gonna lead Mascarada. He has Drought on that. I'm gonna Tailwind because you just U-turn here. Oh well, that works too. And he misses that, which is also pretty nice. Knockoff was the safe play there in case he does decide to save this because card change. Uh, we have a rapid spin on this later. I'm actually kind of tempted to keep this because the sash is still intact. Protosynthesis for Spatek. Uh, we can go for Sunday Pity. Pity. We eat the Dark Pulse up, and I can throw the Strange Steam here. He, the thing is, his son is gone by now. Ogre Pond getting a different ability is like the big worrying part. Oh, I got so confused, confused there for a second. Uh, I mean, Hippowdon... I can rapid spin these. He has poison heal, but I could go for Sandy Pity and neutralizing gas is poison heal. See, I don't care about that. Because I have Shed Skin. Okay, but I am pretty sure that I'm faster. So you're gonna energy ball. You're gonna eruption. Are you scarfed? I'm pretty sure this is gonna be scarfed. I'm gonna throw off an infernal parade. Because I can get that burn, yeah. Exactly, we don't have rocks to worry about, so I can Miascorada here late game, which also seems very potent. I'm gonna try to throw off an. Yeah, Ivy Cudgel goes first, which makes sense. Uh, however, I think you still have to hold your mask. 
and uh, I can throw the drill back here. Anything, once that chandelier is gone, my Glacier basically just wins. So, that's kind of the end game here that I want. One more round. Does it get Mind's Eye? They gave Mind's Eye to Ursaluna, didn't they? Lando T. I'm actually, hold up, I'm gonna bait them a bit. They tried to U-turn on me, which means I could have gotten a drop back off. Wait a second. I can just throw the Toxic here, can't I? Is this Specs? Wait a, uh, a second, I have Liquidation, I have Liquidation. That is massive. Especially considering he has to hit those. He hit those. But, I have Liquidation. I swap to Liquidation. And we win now because uh, Glastiar. I'll give you hip item. As he drops a Draco, which is actually massive for me. Because now I get to belly drum up on you. And, uh... I'm pretty sure... This kills you. Does it? Now it does. That's 1708 attack. Damn, it lived that? Holy shit. It's fine though. Because we still have Sash intact. And either way, I think we win. A dragon comes in. I mean, I just... They want flower tech, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. This way I get the stronger attack off here. I get another flower trick off on Hydreigon anyway because of the Tailwind. And you have to hit me with something that kills Zapdos. As, as he drops a Draco. So he's going for a crit here. If he doesn't crit me I live and uh, oh, I'm faster anyway. Alright, well, that was actually like very close down to wire first game. I'm I'm happy that my team got to show off this. Uh, interesting. A lot of Pokemon that can't borrow from anything. Like these three can't borrow from anything. I'm gonna lead Mio Scarlet because Lead the Self is right there. I'm gonna knock again to save my sash. They went into a knock.
which isn't going to do a lot because yeah, but now I can uh, liquidation you. And now I have an end game of just clicking my button here. As he makes it rain, okay. Oh wow, you stayed in on a ground type. I mean, it's not like it matters because I just thunders kick you. And if Great Tusk, actually I outspeed Great Tusk, so either oh and it's offensive, so I just give him Fazanti Pity. As he close combat. I Toxic here. He didn't rapid spin on me though. So I am literally guaranteed faster. As he has speed on this, which is smart, but also I have... Ooh, Fiery Wrath! I only need one hit off on this though. And then I win. Or you know, that happens. I'm gonna be that guy and just win with Class 3 Air now. You got the burn, which is nice. But also, yeah. And you have to attack me here. Skill shot, but I'm still faster. Because 328. Hey, yeah, your drop defense. Cost you a lot there. All right, a wiggly tough. Why is there a wiggly tough? I mean, this looks like a, a pretty standard sun team. I'm just gonna delete this because, of course, you're gonna see this edge. Uh huh. And then I'm gonna go hip out on, and I'm gonna rapid spin these. Why are you crab hammer? That has a chance to miss. I'm surprised that killed. Wait, wait, because he died to the rocky helmet, he didn't get his layer of spikes. I am faster. I'm gonna click knock here, just to get rid of some sun turns. Or boots, that also works. Because. Show me you're switching to Thunder's Kick. This ain't that Chief. I am flying, which is a very good type against this. Sir? Are you contrary? You're contrary. But I'm faster. And I kill you here. <laughs> That's a cool contrary. But also, I don't think it mattered. You know what? Fuck it. I want damage on this. And now your eruption is weakened. And I get to torch on here. On the Raptor. Or Wiggly Tough, that is also something that works.
So Raptor does come in. I'm just gonna click Torch on. Okay. Cool. However, um, toxic. I'm pretty sure Staraptor loses to Ice Shard, so I can just boost this. I mean, the thing is, right, I need a little bit of chip on this, and then I just Ice Shard into Ice Shard. You're making plays here that don't make any sense. Cool. Um, sorry, but uh, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, GG. <laughs> that was a good game. I, I like his, the idea of his time. I didn't know Grass got access to um, Contrary. Which is pretty interesting. Okay, so late game Zepdos, insane. Pure Ghost Poltergeist, that's terrifying with Shell Smash. Um, Loki? Just give me this. Okay, he, he made the play, he made the play. <coughs> oh my god, my voice is dying. Um. Hold up. What if I just belly, like, immediately hit you? Also, that the 20, I just want to point that out. Okay, well, I get, I take care of that immediately. Nice guy is here to flower trick me, but I don't particularly care. And uh, yeah, I sludge bomb here. As he takes damage from his poison, which obviously is gonna be poison heal again. He's gonna U-turn here. Or that. That also works. Cool. <laughs> hey there. Uh-huh. Let's see you win now. Ooh, that... Wait, I'm surprised because I thought, like, that... I, did, I could have recovered. I should have recovered. It's fine because I still have plenty of ways to win. But still. Hello there. As you see, see. Interesting. Interesting. That did 49%, Jesus. Why did that just kill? I'm gonna toxic here. The thing is, you don't really have much for Fazan Pity. It was on the shelves. Nasty plot, okay. But you didn't boost your speed though. 
So what's stopping me from just clicking this button? He's gonna teleport here. Yeah. Do you even have any actual attacking move? Do you have any attacking move? You have Moonblast, but uh, you also don't have an, any defense now. And yeah, that just kills you now. Okay, okay, Amber Pump. This looks like an end game of Zapdos being very, very good. Kind of thing, Lead Typhlosion. Glacier late game also looks pretty good. Lead type Flusion also kind of forces him to be wary of Scarf. So that's also an, a good added benefit here. As he leads Emblepom, which actually I have a pretty good matchup against. And he is um, just special attack boosting Hair Dragon. No. Stop that. I eat those, what the fuck? Shut up. As he earthquakes me, okay. You know what? Fine. Do it. Yep, good job, you did it. Man thinks he can just set up and win. It doesn't work like that. I hope he terrace his golden goat to flying type. I want to boost here. Cool, I'm gonna go Miascarada and click knock. And click some spikes. I see we have the same idea here. I'm gonna tailwind. And I'm gonna knock. And then I'm gonna click the button with my bird. I think Flower Attack kills you. If not, I should have been mashing, but I think Flower Attack kills you. Because I've not did that much. Yeah, that definitely kills. And I get another Tailwind off. I'm gonna make a read here. Yeah, no, I'm not letting you do that. Ah, uh, you use your ice move on your uh, steel move on me. Good job, you did it. Now watch as I ice shard you and still do forty percent through Terra Water. <laughs> Uh, 
Ooh, Ogre Pond and Brute Bonnet, okay. What does Brute Bonnet get? Uh, they can be last year. Body's this. I kind of want to make you Terra Water. Uh, the, the lead Typhlosion is pretty good. I can throw off an Earth Power. Pretty sure this thing just stuff rocks. Or U turns, that also works. Oh! Well, that works, I guess. Nice Shadow Ball. I'm pretty sure your Scarf. So I'm gonna just Sludge Bomb here. Because it hits everything. Even this man. Nice. You think I'm just gonna switch on you? No, 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 sir. A Toxic on this would be very nice. Ah, this is your rocker, okay. Confusion? No, also U turn. Get real. Kablamo! Onto 1 HP! With the liquidation that you now have to watch out for with your Chandelier and your Cinderace. Although Hippowdon, Rapid Spins. Cool. Um, hmm. He's making sure to keep this, which is very smart of him. Hi there. If he goes Brute Bonnet, I'm spiking up. Yep. Get the fuck out of here. It's fine, I got my spikes. And uh, I Thunder's Kick because I am still Scarf. Ooh, you had the berry for it? The berry and everything, damn. I forgot Brute Bonnet was a thing when I was building my team. The Scrata might have been able to uh, get some of those. No more Tailwind for you. Which means I Thunder's Kick this as well. Oh, are you chlorophyll on this? Holy shit! Jesus! That is terrifying! However, I'm gonna win. <laughs> GG! <laughs> Fat. We ate that up thanks to our tick fat. And he loses now to Ice Shard. Because Ice Shard, Ice Shard, Ice Shard. Let's go. That, I, I think that's gonna be the one where I end it. Uh, because this is the team showing off very well what it's capable of. Between now Skorada getting up the spikes here on the Sucker Punches. Uh, Zapdos just giving zero shits and just playing Thunder's Kick. And then we have uh, Glastier here 
with the big power ice art with with the thick fat eating a hit from Arcanine. In Sun, I must add. That was a sun boosted flare blitz from Arcanine. And I just ate that up. So yeah, I, I think that's really a good showing of the theme. I really hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.